Have you been asked to account for treasury stock in a corporation and you're not quite sure what treasury stock is or how to account for it? Well, you've come to the right place because I'm Professor Capco and I'm here to make this super easy for you in today's video. Today I'm going to show you how to account for the treasury stock here, but before that I want to mention that I believe something great is going to happen for you today. And now Back to the video. Today we're going to talk about accounting for treasury stock. Are you someone who get your debits and credits mixed up and think accounting is just very difficult? Well, if so, give this video a thumbs up, then that way I'll know that you would like some more videos like this, making it easy. Let's talk about this one. We're going to be Accounting for treasury stock. A treasury stock is when a company repurchases some of the stock that's been issued and is outstanding with investors from the open market. They repurchase it and hold it inside the company again. So it's not available for dividends. It's not available and it's not available for regulating earnings per share, but it can be later sold by the company or later retired based on whatever they decide to do. Here, the first at first, the company is going to issue 10,000 shares of common stock with a par value of $5. I've done some other videos on par value. You can check out this one up here in the corner after this video if you want to know more about that. They are all sold at market price of $15 per share. Two years later, the company repurchases a thousand shares from the market at a price of $12 per share. Let's pull out our T accounts so we can do some accounting for this. I've got my assets on the left and my owner's equity on the right. We're not going to really impact liabilities, which would be here in between. So we're not going to worry about that today, but we're going to deal with the assets and the equity accounts. Let's start with the 10,000 shares of common stock with a par value of $5 and they're sold in a market price of $15 per share. That means that we have 10,000 shares times the market price of $15 per share. That's going to be cash coming in of $150,000. When they sell those shares. So we're going to debit cash for 150000 Now we're going to need to go ahead and take care of the equity side of this because for our debits, we need to have equal credits. Our stock, our common stock, is only $5 per share par value. So that's the maximum that we can record here for our equity. And if we have $5 par value and there's 10,000 shares, it would be 10,000 times $5 is $50,000. So I'm going to credit common stock for $50,000. We are still off by $100,000 though because our debits don't match our credits. We need another account that is part of the equity side of the balance sheet. We have one called additional paid in capital. That's where we're going to park the accounting for the rest of that money. We still have $100,000, so I'm going to credit that for $100,000. Now we have $150,000 debit and we have 50 plus 100, so that's $150,000 credit. This is our asset side and we have owner's equity in this case of $150,000. So far, so good. Next, two years later, the company repurchases a thousand shares from the market at a price of $12 per share. So that's going to be $12 times a thousand. That's $12,000. We're not going to take that out of the common stock because this is the issued amount. Treasury stock is still considered to be issued. It just won't be outstanding. If we're using the cash method, we're going to credit cash for $12,000. You 
because that money is actually being paid out to whoever they're buying the shares of stock from. So we're going to credit cash and then we're going to debit an account called treasury stock for $12,000. Now notice I've debited this account. Treasury stock is called a contra account. It is an offset from the or normal equity accounts of common stock, additional paid in capital, and retained earnings would be another one. It's a contra account, so it offsets it. It reduces the amount of owner's equity. And this will remain in balance because we have credits of 12,000 and we have debits of 12,000. So now you know how to account for treasury stock, but there's a lot more to know. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell so you don't miss a single video. Thank you.